Joining me today is Aaron Binkley, the Director of Sustainability with Digital Realty Trust. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be here, Matt. How have you seen the process of financing sustainability initiatives evolve over the years, and what changes do you expect going forward? I think one of the things that has been interesting in digital realty is, is our change to make projects more visible and to separate, in particular, CapEx projects, say energy efficiency improvements, from traditional CapEx projects that don't have an energy efficiency component. In the past, they'd all been lumped together, so you're fighting for the same capital dollars. And what we tried to do is separate them out and say, there's a pool of capital for repaving the parking lot, and that's not the same pool of capital that we're going to focus on for upgrading lighting or putting in more efficient pumps or chillers. And can you talk a little bit about the role that the real estate sector plays in helping to drive the U.S. energy production from more carbon-based to renewable energy? Real estate uses a lot of energy. Uh, data centers, our industry in particular, these facilities are running 24-7 to power the internet, the cloud, uh, and social media. And those, those solutions need to be at the scale of the facilities. So in some cases, a megawatt or a few hundred kilowatts on a building is sufficient to, to green a property. Uh, in our case, uh, we're looking at utility scale solutions. So last year, we bought uh, the output from an 88 megawatt wind farm under a long-term power contract. And that supplies enough renewable energy to make our entire retail co-location business 100% renewably powered. And what value, I know you're a, a frequent attender of, of the Leader in the Light Working Forum, what value do you get in your job from attending this forum? I came to the first one back when there were 14 or 15 people attending seven years ago. Uh, and it's, it's really become my go-to source for sharing best practices, learning from the brightest minds in real estate and the REIT world around sustainability, energy, and relevant topics on disclosure and reporting. And lastly, if you had to focus on one specific project or initiative that best sums up what you're trying to accomplish with Digital Realty Sustainability Program, what would that be? Well, there's a lot, but uh, you know, I, I'd really, I'd highlight transparency, um, and it's certainly a journey, and it's by no means a, a once and done, easy kind of thing. Um, there's always room to get better, uh, but what we found is that stakeholders and customers have really uh, put a priority for us to be transparent, to share information when it's needed, to be proactive and saying, here's where we are. We may not be perfect, but we're working on it and we're continuing to get better and we'll share in that journey with you. Great. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Matt. For more on real estate and sustainability, be sure to visit REIT.com.